<clears throat> now you've got the sun card over there and this looks like a, a lot of happiness coming in for you, uh, uh, you know, a change in your luck over there. It's the three of hearts with it, uh, which is like the three of cups. There's some kind of celebration as well coming in. So there's a victory of sorts coming in. And you've got a lot of recognition in whatever you're doing as well. People, um, you know, giving you, uh, maybe there's a reward or some kind of promotion or some kind of uh, event, something coming in that improves your reputation or improves your status in life as well. Uh, and there's a lot of communication, a lot of people recognize recognizing you. Whatever you're doing is establishing your stability. You could be dealing with uh, issues involving your family or home. Um, if you have any health issues, it looks like those are going to start improving as well. Now, in the past, you've got uh, that uh, lightning bolt over there. So some information coming in over there for you. You could have been dealing with legal issues. You've got that six of clubs over there, moving away from those uh, really uh, upsetting um, issues that you were dealing with. There was also maybe some upsetting legal news that could have come in for you uh, that caused a lot of disruption, a lot of drama as well going on. It could have been something that even involved your work as well, because you've got the anchor card in over here, uh, and there could have been some kind of financial loss that with that five of diamonds, but with the anchor card, it's about establishing stability and security as far as your work goes. So it looks like you know things are about to change over there. You've got that sitting next to the sun card, the anchor. So whatever in, um, situation that had been upsetting as far as your work goes, it looks like that's going to resolve itself. Now going into the future, you've got that cat card over there and that uh, fish, which is really good. The cat is about working independently, uh, you know, um, using your intuition, relying on your own... Um, abilities to be able to sort through problems and actually moving away from difficult situations. Um, but also be careful of people that are uh, giving you false flattery. So people saying things to you that you want to hear, but not necessarily meaning it. So be careful about who you trust as well. With that fish card, that's money coming in for you. And it's a, there's a four of uh, hearts over there. So there's some stability coming in, security coming in as well. Uh, and, you know, maybe there's even a new job offer that comes in with that four of hearts, like the four of cups, a uh, new offer coming in that's going to bring in a lot of money as well. So those are the uh, energies for that week. So I'm using the Tarot of Fate for this particular read. So the bottom of the deck, you've got that seven of stones over here. So this is about having, uh, you know, options and choices, uh, waiting for something to change as well. Maybe something happened, uh, you know, uh, there was some kind of event that happened that caused unexpected consequences over here, and you're having to take responsibility for those actions. So something that you know, you were uh, working on that didn't quite work out as you hoped it would work out. And, you know, maybe it was unintentional, whatever happened, but it caused a lot of problems and a lot of drama. You can see this man stone, thrown the stone. It's ended up uh, injuring or killing this particular fairy. And so something had happened, something that went down that you didn't expect to have, uh, you know, um, disappointing consequences. There might have been a loss as well um, that has happened uh, with that seven of stones. So some kind of disappointment. Um, there's a choice that needs to be made over here with that lover's card. So you're trying to maybe find a new job because you've got that uh, knight of uh, spears over there. And this is about moving on, trying to uh, establish uh, yourself on a financial basis somewhere else. So this could be travel. This could be also finding yourself a new job somewhere else. So moving on and you have to make that decision. You are facing a crossroads in your life. So something that you've been doing on the work front that didn't quite work out for you. Um, you know, there could have been loss. Uh, and now you're changing or you're needing to make a decision to change uh, your job or even move on from this particular job. Um, you've got that four of swords over here. So, uh, you know, you've been very stressed out. Uh, you've been dealing with a lot of um, conflict or problems as well. And it looks like you, you have needed to take some kind of break um, or from the situation or standing back from that situation and coming up with a new plan, really, uh, communicating a new 
means of communication or communicating with new people as well with that Four of Swords. You've got uh, the King of Swords over here as well. So there's some kind of legal decision that you were facing as well. So there's a lot of sword cards over here talking about maybe, maybe you were dealing with legal circumstances over here with that Four of Swords. And that caused a lot of stress and anxiety. And with that King of Swords, it looks like there was some kind of decision, uh, some kind of judgment, some kind, something official that um, uh, was passed. So uh, it looks like, you know, it could have even been that the person that you were dealing with got their karmic justice as well with that King of Swords. So it looks like there was some kind of legal issue that you um, had to sort out as well. So on your mind, you've got the hangman. You're waiting for things to change. You're trying to, to, to look at uh, different options, look at things from a different perspective. But uh, things are at a little bit of a standstill at the moment. And maybe this is why you have to make that decision to actually move on from this uh, situation because it's not serving you, really. Going into the future, you've got the Ten of uh, Cauldrons. So that's the Ten of Cups. So you could be even moving home, buying a new home, moving on completely, especially since you've got uh, the Knight of uh, Spears or with the Knight of Rods, rather. Uh, so it looks like, you know, you're ending an old situation and moving on to something better. So it looks like, you know, you could be buying a new home, you could be moving on to a new job, something else where there's a new, there's an end of that old cycle and you're moving on to something new. You could be taking your family and moving on to somewhere else. And you've got another Ten of Swords over here. Uh, so this is about something ended, um, you know, something that cannot be resolved, a situation of a lot of conflict. This could also have been a legal situation that has come to an end and a judgment has been passed. Maybe things didn't go quite in your favor, and maybe this is the reason why you're moving on. Now, uh, what's happening with you? You've got the judgment card. So you are agonizing about making a new decision or making a new, a fresh start as well. You can see this man sitting there with his hands in his head. There might be people that are giving you some advice around you, but you are quite, um, you know, you are at that crossroads. You've got two decision cards over here. So you've got the lovers as well as the judgment card over here. So you're making a big decision, and maybe this decision is to leave this old situation and move on uh, with that judgment card. So having learned a lot of lessons as well, uh, you're now trying to make a decision about what to do next, really, and trying to move on. Uh, so you've got a ten of swords over here. So there's a lot of tens in this uh, deck. So you're hoping that you know new money comes in. You may have been going through a lot of financial problems as well, and you're trying to hang on to whatever you have. You're hoping that maybe this old situation has got some kind of payout as well. So you are uh, trying to rope in the money over there. You can see he's pulling that little bag of money. But also this is about you know trying to save as much pennies as possible. There's unforeseen losses that are coming in for you there. Uh, so you have had some kind of financial issues going on as well. So the final outcome you've got the two of swords over here uh, the page of cauldrons there and the magician card over here so you are definitely at a crossroads in your life there might be conflicting advice coming people telling you to do this and to do that so you are trying to make that decision you're trying to cut out the past you can see this person's got that big sword in their hand but you can see they're at that crossroads so really you've got this really big choice that you've got to make because you've got now three cards that are showing that there are big choices or big changes in your situation that is happening for you and it looks like you want to leave everything in the past and move on you've got a lot of tens as well so um with a page of cauldrons you're not feeling very um confident in uh, what you want to do next. So maybe there's an offer that comes in. Uh, this person has landed, but very, very shaky on their feet. So, uh, you know, you're, um, you're not quite sure about how to proceed next. There's this offer that may be coming in for you with that page of cauldrons. Uh, you might need further training for that particular job of, you know, um, and you might need to um, ask for some advice as well for that in order for you to land on your feet quite sa safely. So you're, you're in, in a very, very shaky position at this particular moment, not quite sure what to do. Now you've got the magician card over here. So, you know, maybe this lack of confidence, uh, you know, you need to realize that you do have a lot of training. You're pretty, um, you know, you have all the tools that you need to be able to do this job. Um, and you're going to be starting something brand new as well with the magician. You can see this man is making shoes, or this uh, gnome is making shoes over here. It's going to take a lot of hard work, whatever you're going to be starting off. This is a number one, so starting afresh. 
uh, and it's going to require a lot of uh, energy going into that particular job. There could also be further training as well. So where you're feeling very shaky and un uneasy about making this choice, it looks like if you make that choice, you will start something brand new, and it's going to uh, require a lot of hard work and effort on your part. But with the Magician card, it's a card of manifestation. That's usually positive. So it looks like, you know, uh, whatever you focus your attention on is going to be able to produce the goods. So you can see that the, the shoes have already been made. So there's a lot of work and effort, working late hours, because you can see this very shining, this light on this, being focused on that particular job, working long hours, but uh, it's producing the goods. So, you know, it, there will be success at the end of whatever you're doing. So it looks like you're making a choice to leave an old situation behind and walk on, uh, move on from it, and maybe even move home as well. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Angel Tarot. And so you've got the Hermit card over here, and this is about spending time in quiet meditation, spiritual teaching, and self-discovery. Now, the Hermit card is ruled by Virgo, and Virgo does focus on work, so you do need to uh, focus on that work. And Virgo is also a card that rules study, because it's ruled by Mercury. So you can see, um, you know, you are going to probably need some further training, and there's going to be some kind of... Um, uh, education uh, involved as well with this particular job and maybe uh, you know working a lot by yourself as well a lot of independence as well but being very very focused on whatever you're doing you've got the four of air over here so time to take a rest or vacation allow more time before making a decision meditation may provide the answers so you are very anxious about making this particular decision you've got to look at things from a different perspective as well but also if you're very stressed out you do need to take a little bit of a break uh, you know get your your energy back and then you've got that ace of water so this is a new offer coming in for you and it's going to cause a lot of spiritual growth and enhanced enhanced uh, intuition this also talks about a new home so you've got that 10 of uh, cauldrons over there so leaving behind the old situation these people are celebrating their new home and then you've got that ace of water over there that is talking about moving to a new home um, this is also a card about even maybe new study coming in as well so whatever this job is it's going to have a it's an offer that comes in for you but also it's got that element of study that's going to be involved uh, in it. So you might be actually just moving on to a new job, something brand new that comes in that's going to require further training, but also even, you know, re uh, relocating as well, moving on uh, to start something brand new somewhere else. Um, because you are ending a lot of cycles, you are at that judgment point where you have to make a big decision as well, and you are at a crossroads in your life. So uh, stand back and look at all your options available to you before you actually make that decision, and think about it very carefully and make sure that you're doing a lot of research before you make a big move. So I hope this reading has resonated with you, and please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.